Hi lovelies, you are highly welcome back to my channel. My name is Akuridi Adenike. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful A-line skirt. And it's very stylish. The front part is going to have two parts, upper part and the down part. The down part of the front part is going to have pleatings. So, and I'm going to put elastic band on the both side of my skirt. And at the same time, there is going to be a zipper at the back. So, if you want to know how to do it, let's get into it. This is the Ankara fabric I'm using for the tutorial today. You know, like I said earlier on, I said I'm making an A-line skirt. But there is going to be two parts at the front of it upper part and the down part because there is a pleating at the down part of it so and to know the amount of fabric i'm putting on food for this particular skirt i'm making use of the biggest part of the body to calculate my measurement and the biggest part of my body of the body i'm working with today is hip which is 44 inches so i'm going to divide it by four it will give me 11 inches i'm going to add five inches to it to make it form, form an A-line skirt to give me 16 inches. I'm going to add 2 inches for seam allowance, 2 inches for zipper allowance. So all together will be 20 inches. So I'm going to put 20 inches on fold now for you to see. So the measurement I'm working with for this skirt today are I'm working with the hip measurement, waist measurement, which is the circumference of the waist, circumference of the hip and the full length of my skirt. So and at the same time, I'm adding elastic to the waist of this skirt. So I'll quickly put that 20 inches on fold now for you to see. Put that 20 inches on fold now. As you can see, this is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side of it. So I'm going to roll out the straight line here. That will serve as my starting point. So that's it. So from that starting point, I'm going to measure 2.5 for my elastic. You know, I said I'm adding elastic on both sides of the skirt. So, and the zipper is going to be at the back of it. That's why I added zipper allowance to it. So I'm going to connect the point. So since I'm using this 2.5 for elastic, I'm going to start all my measurements from this line now. So my hip line is 8 inches from the waist. 8 inches is the standard. If you want to make a skirt for someone that you don't see, you can make use of 8 inches. It will work. It usually works for me. So I'm going to connect it. This is my hip line now. So from that waistline to my before the knee length, which is 18 inches. So that's a standard. 18 inches from my waistline. Remember, I said it. This 2.5 inches that I measured here is for the elastic. So I'm going to connect it. Waistline, I'm going to measure my the full length of my skirt, which is 38 inches, which is here now. And I'm going to add one inch for seam allowance to it. That'll give me 39 inches. So going to mark it out from the waistline and I'm going to connect it for you to see so this is where the 38 inches is and this is 39 inches I added one inch for a mean allowance for it to hit sorry so I'm 
I'm going to measure two inches for my zipper allowance out here. Measure it out and connect with the long ruler for me not to wait for me not to waste much of your time i'm going to connect it with my long ruler just like this this is for zipper allowance so that's it so from this line now from this zipper allowance line i'm going to input all my vertical measurements so on my hip line i'm going to input quarter of my hip you know i said my hip is 44 divided by 4 will give me 11 inches i'm going to add 2 inches to it for my seam allowance that will give me 13 inches so on my hip line too i'm going to input that 13 inches so while on my below the knee line I'm going to deduct one inch from that 13 inches so it will give me 12 inches because I want it to be a little bit off at this place so I'm going to input 12 inches on that below the knee line if you want it to be covered and that you can deduct two inches from it it's your choice but this person is an old man old woman so it will not like it like that and she will not like it like that rather so i will now connect it like this from my waist to my hip let it extend to that elastic allowance too so from here connect like this make sure you always blend all the sharp edges please to make your job accurate and use your long ruler keep it from this 38 which is original line till this emmy line just like this if you are good at your free hand just use your free hand but if you are not good at that use your curve ruler please you can make use of your hip curve ruler it will just be like this so i will now connect from here to this place just like this as you can see our skirt the back part is ready now for cutting so i will now cut it out make sure you blend all the sharp edges please so i'll now cut it out now This is just it as you can see so i'm going to cut this place is no part of it that's it so i'm going to open my zipper allowance here So I will now move on to the front part, fold another fabric for my upper part first. You know I said it's two parts for the front, the upper part and the down part. The down part is going to have pleatings. So to know the amount of fabric folding for your front, which is the upper part, you are going to measure from here how you want it, just a little bit inches from your hip line maybe like five inches is okay for it from your hip line so i will just measure for me to be easier you can measure it from there from here now i have 15.5 inches i'll just fold it like this and you know i'm going to join it here I'm, I'm going to add half inch to it. It will give me 16 inch. The back part, I'm going to fold my zipper allowance in before placing it to cut my front part out. So I'll easily use pin to hold it down. Spinning the zipper allowance for the back parts. 
So here is another fabric for the front part, which is the upper part of my front. I have exactly 13 inches. And you know, I said quarter of my hip is 11 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance. That will make it 13 inches. So this is 13 inches now folded into two. So, and this from the waist to where I need is 16 inches. You know, I, I need, I need 15.5 inches. I added half inch to this place where I'm going to join it to the down part. I added half inch for seam allowance. That'll make it 16 inches. So I will now place my back on it like this. Let it align on each other very well. If you are a beginner, you can pin down your fabric to make it accurate. You now place it like this. Let it align very well, please, to make your job accurate. And I'll now easily cut, I'll shape it out. Just for me to use the back to shape it out. That's why I need to place it on it to make it accurate. So, I'm going to remeasure it for me not to make a mistake. Make sure you always cross check your measurements to make your job accurate, please. So, here is it. I'll just shape it out now by cutting it out. So, this is my upper part for the front part of my skirt now. So, that's just it. As you can see, the shame has been formed. Lest I forget, if you are not adding elastic, if you are not adding any elastic to your band, you, you will just make use of this line, which is your waistline. You know, this 2.5 is for the elastic. And on that waistline, you will input quarter of your waist there, plus that, which is one inch, and plus your seam allowance. Assuming this is where it is now, you just mark it like this and easily join it to your hip line like this. If you are not good at using your free hand, please make use of your curve ruler. So as you can see, it has formed the hip line, side hip line from the waist to the hip line. So that's just it if you are not adding elastic to it. So, that's just it for the upper part of the front part. I will quickly move to, to the down part now. For me to get the down part, down part for my front part, you know, I said there is a pleat. There is there are some pleats on the down part of my front part. You just measure, you know, I used 15.5 inches for my upper part. So I'm going to mark it out for me to know where I'm going to, where I'm going to start my down part this is where the 15.5 is so definitely i need from here to the down part of my skirt for my down part of the front part of my a line skirt so i'll turn it like this and measure that 15.5 out because this is how i'm going this is how i'm going to place it to get my down part for the front part of my skirt so I'm going to measure that 15.5 inch, inches out on the second part of it like this and connect it straight just like this. So this is where the work is. Please concentrate on this part because this is where this is what makes it stylish so this is what i need now from here to the damp part of my skirt let me spread another fabric for the front another fabric for my front and from the down for the down part of my front part i'm not folding it so i just leave it like this this is the right side of it so i want my pleat to be on the left side so i have to leave it like this this will fall to my right and this side will be my left side. I will now take my back. I'm going to 
place it on it like this because I want to shape this place out now. I'm going to shape it out and mark my center front out. So let me just shape this place out first. This will be my right side. So, and the down part too, I'm going to shape it. You know, I, I have a little bit of on the down part of my skirt because I don't want to leave any sharp edges there. So, it will just be like this. So, after that, I'm going to mark out my... You can use paint to hold it for it to be accurate. I'm going to mark out my center. This is my center back, you know. So, so this one now, it will serve as my center front. I'm going to mark it out like this. So the length of what I'm working with now from here to the down part will give me 26 inches, yes. So I'm going to add half inch on this upper part for me to join into the upper part of the skirt. So that's what I need from the back to create my front. So I'm going to measure that 26.5 out. So that is the length for my down part of the front, 26.5. So I'm going to connect it straight like this. That is the length I need for my down part of the front part. So from this center line now, this is my front, I mean this is the front center line i'm going to measure out my nipple to nipple measurement to create my pleats so from this center line now from this front center line i'm going to measure my nipple to nipple measurement the nipple to nipple measurement of the person i'm making skirt for is eight inches i'm going to divide it by two is four inches so this is where the nipple to nipple measurement is now so from that nipple to nipple measurement I'm going to include it on the down part of it, connect it straight because, because I want my job to be accurate so I need to be focused here. So that is it and from that line I'm going to measure one inch from this line I'm going to measure one inch upward or 1.5 depends on how you want it on the down part too i'm going to include that 1.5 so making for you to understand that's why i'm starting from the scratch like that so if it is for me alone i will just measure what i need from that center line was for you to understand how I arrive to this point. That is why I'm explaining. So from this line now, I'm going to measure two, two inches for the pleats I need. So this is my two inches, another two inches. So that two inches, two, two inches will let me create the pleats I want. And I need about five pleats on this side. So, I'm going to input it on the down part too. Remember, I'm measuring that 2 inches from this line. The 1.5 that I measured from my center, from my nipple to nipple measurement. So, I measured 1.5. Here is it. I connected it to the down part of my skirt. So, from that line, I will, I will now start my 2, two inches for my plate. So, I'm going to input it on the down part too. Make use of another chalk for that two inches for you not to make a mistake. So 
two inches, two inches on the down part too, two inches, two inches to like till I create all the pleatings that I needed for this front part. So two inches, two inches, two inches, and that's 26.5 which is the length make sure you measured it from the down part let me use white chalk for that so 26.5 as you are marking that two inches make sure you all you mark that 26.5 to 26.5 so i will now start pleating my skirt now. i want you to understand this part very well that's why i have to come again you know this is my center front line which is here as you can see and i measured my nipple to nipple measurements backward like this which is four inches here is it here so from that four inches for me to start pleating my front i have to measure 1.5 so 1.5 here now is the starting point for my pleating so from that 1.5 that i measured from my nipple to nipple measurement i'll start i will now start measuring two two inches for my pleating which i've already measured out so till i get all the pleatings i want i'll be measuring it and you have to make sure you measured your length too which is 26 you know i said my length is 26 i added half inch for me to join it to the upper part that will make it 26.5 so from the down part i measured 26.5 this is the line for 26.5 make sure you always measure that one too so on the down part too i have to measure that to two inches too i hope you understand so this is my two two inches for my pleating so i'll now start pleating my front now so i'm going to this you know this is the first the first two inches from the one and um, 1.5 that i measured for my nipple to nipple measurement this is the first one the second one so from the second one i'm going to hold it like this so make sure i hold the down part too I'm going to hold it like this to meet where I start my pleating. Maybe I should zoom my camera for you to see it very well. So this point is 1.5 that I measured from my nipple to nipple line. This is my nipple, nipple to nipple line. So I'm going to, this is my starting point for my two, two inches. This is the first two inches, the, sec, the second two inches. So that second two inches, I'll just hold it from here and the down part like this just place it on my starting point like this that is the first plate so to get my second plate let me let me use paint to hold this one down and i'm going to hold it on the down part too for it to be accurate that is the first plate I need four pleatings more because I'm making five pleats on my front part. First pleat now, like I explained. So to get the second pleat, you count another three. One, two, three. You know, two inches, two inches, two inches. So from that, you hold that three, the third one like this place it on the first one here i hope you understand you know you count another this is the first split and you now count immediately after that you count one two three on that third one you fold it like this and 
let it align on the first one. That is the second pleat. We need three more of these pleats. So I'm going to use pin to hold it just like this. So after that, no more two inches again. There is only one two inches here. So I'll continue from that two inches, measure another two two inches till I gain what I want. You know I said I'm needing five pleats for this skirt. So measure two two inches again. On the down part too, I'm measuring it. Five inches that I said I want. So for my third pleating, I'm going to count again. One, two, three. On that three in three, the top on the third one, I'm going to hold it like this and place it on the first one. That is the second, I mean the third pleating. Make sure as you are folding here. Make sure you are folding it to form a pleat on the down part too because as you are choking on the upper part, I mean on the hop here, you have to be choking on the down too. So this is the third pleat. My pleating remain two pieces, I mean two. That is it. So. You now continue like that till you gain five pleating. For it to be easier for me, let me cut this side. Make sure as you are pleating it, make sure you are measuring the length too. So, I'll drag it now for me to continue measuring. Till I get those five pleating. So, I'm going to measure from the down part. You know, I said this place is easy, but it's technical. You have to concentrate and focus 26.5 inches so I'm going to continue that to two inches let me connect straight line first 26.5 we'll cross check Okay, so I'll continue measuring that to two inches to two inches on the down path to make sure you do not forget, please. So I'm going to count one, two, three on that third one. You hold it to meet the first one. Let it so it means only one pleat now.
going to measure continue measuring my two two inches from here now I'm going to measure my two inches two inches two inches two inches so I'm going to count one two three on the third one I'm going to hold it I hope you understand how I'm doing it place it on the first one and pin So I'm going to cross check my length before cutting it out finally. So my 26.5 inches from the down part. 26.5 inches is here. And is here. So going to connect since my pleating is completed now I'll just easily drag it going to drag it on the table very well like this you know this is one two three four five that's completed so I'll now fold this one just like this for me to cut to complete cutting the down part of my skirts. So I'll, I'll easily place my back on it for me to shape it out. Make sure the pleating or let me use paint to hold the center of my pleating for the fabric not to give me wrong measurements at the end of the day so I'm using paint to hold the center of my plate So I'm going to drag it again. Make sure you be careful, please. Fold it on it like this and place the back on it. You know, this is my center back. Since I full I folded it. I have to place it on it like this to get my front out. So I'll just easily Make sure the center is aligned on each other, please. Supposed to have, okay. 
Let me place this one it's like this. Sorry, let me first of all cut it here for it to be easier for me. So I'm going to place my back on it. Just like this. I'm done cutting out the down part of my front, as you can see. So this is my back part. I'm going to remove it. But before removing it, I would like to... This is my above the knee line. I'm going to let it reflect on the front part too, because... I'm using it to secure my pleats, connect it just like this. Then I'm going to let it reflect on the second side of it, just like this. Hold it and dot it on the other side. So I'm going to turn it then connect the line. When I'm going to my ironing table and give it a good press to make that pleat show very well. So before securing it from this place to this point. Ironing it as you can see. So I'll now remove the pin for me to go and secure the pleat. The reason why I said I want to secure it, if I leave it like this, the cork for the side Will not be will not take effect so securing the pleating at the upper part of it i'm going to hem the bottom too with one hint that i had it to it so i'll put that on the side so i'll go ahead and cut the lining for this this down part for the front part does not need lining because of the pleats so I'll go ahead and cut the lining for the upper part of the front part and the back part too. I'm going to cut the lining for it. So when I finish cutting the lining,